this week, I made the final decision that I will be officially joining a frat. Well, I mean, maybe join a frat. Growing up, I had always thought of Greek life as these ripped frat guys and supermodel sorority girls who would party all day and run the school just like they did in the movies. And to a 13 year old kid, this seemed like a dream come true. So I did everything I could to be just like them. But as I started to get a little older, I started to realize that Greek life is a lot more complicated than they show you in all those movies. When I first got to school, I noticed very quickly that college is absolutely dominated by the Greek life on campus. From the big houses, to the t-shirts everywhere, to even all the sorority rush videos popping up on my TikTok, Greek life seemed impossible to avoid. And I felt as if I had to join in order to survive college. But with endless rumors about body shaming and paying for friends, I started to see that there might be a darker side to Greek life that I've been totally overlooking this whole time. One second I'd hear it's the best opportunity in the world, and the next I'd hear that it's full of controversy that couldn't be avoided. All this pressure to join a frat mixed with these never ending rumors left me more confused than ever. And I had no idea how I actually wanted to start off my college experience. And that's why I'm here today. I'm here to tell you the brutal truth about everything Greek life so that you don't make the same mistakes I did before you rush. But we're doing something a little different today. Come on, I'll explain in the car. Oh hey, so as you can probably tell by just simply looking at me, I'm not a frat guy whatsoever. So today we're gonna get all the insights from the professionals themselves. So over the past couple weeks, I've been reaching out to hundreds of members across 25 different fraternities and sororities to get all the inside drama about what it's like to rush at one of America's biggest party schools. Or really any school out there. But you know what? It definitely helps that we're at a party school. So today we're meeting with people all across the board from people that are in Greek life to people that have left Greek life and even one or two groups that have actually been kicked off of campus. So I mean, we're talking with people from every walk of life here. So there's gonna be no secret that's left hidden today. Oh, I do this every time. I literally get like so nervous before I do all this shit, bro. Like I can literally go out every week and just make a complete idiot myself. But like, God forbid I have to go interview someone else. My nerves just go like. <laughs> but okay, you ready, buddy? I know, I know. I'm nervous too, but you know what? Let's do this. Hi, Claire. What's up, dude? Hello, Miss Ken. What's up? How you doing? Good to see you. I told you I'd be here. <laughs> you good? Yeah. You ready for this? Sure. All right, let's do it. So we're starting off easy. What is your name and what frat are you in? Uh, my name's Andrew Garrett. Christian Keister. Bryce Denick. Kennedy Bollinger. Fernando Padron. Isaac Cutchin. I go by Hutch. And I am in... I try Delta. Pi Kappa Alpha. Kappa Kappa Gamma. Sigma Phi Epsilon. Alpha Chi Omega. Alpha Delta Phi. I'm in AO Pi. It stands for Alpha Omicron Phi, but, you know, AO Pi is what we call it. <laughs> <laughs> and what made you want to go Greek? Um... Pretty basic answer, I would say. That's a little more of a complicated story. I actually didn't want to go Greek at all. My mom actually forced me. A bunch of my family was in Greek life. My sister and my dad are both in Greek life. I have an older brother who was in Pike. And it was just exciting because I got to meet a lot of people. I just wanted to meet a bunch of new people. Meet new people. I think the main motivation for me was like being able to find like a home away from home. I wanted to find a sense of family. I wanted to be in like a sense of a community. I just really found SIGEP as a place where I could surround myself with people that kind of have the same goals as me. You have like a sisterhood and you have like people who you can rely on. You always have like people to talk to. It's kind of like just like a built-in like friendship with like everybody in there. There's so many people. You get so many more experiences and different experiences than other people when you go Greek. Awesome. So obviously there's a ton of different reasons to go out and join Greek life. And it really makes this whole process a lot less intimidating knowing that most of the people we interviewed ended up where they are today by pure coincidence. But even though it seems like a super easy process to get in, there's still a ton of rumors that scare people from even joining in the first place. So I wanted to dive a little deeper to see if any of these rumors held to be true. So this one's a little darker, just gonna warn you. All right. So obviously when you think of like frats and sororities, there's always that negative connotation of like hazing and stuff. Mm -hmm. Whether it's in your chapter or any other organization here, is that rumor held to be true? Um, no. No. No, like, absolutely not. No. I have not been hazed, and I am not afraid of being hazed. Personally, I have not seen anything like that. It's actually a really big thing. Like, no hazing. We always hear, like, these hands don't haze a lot. No, these really hands don't cool. haze. Um, we have a very strict no hazing policy here. I personally have no idea what the fraternities do. Fraternities, like, there are always rumors. I'm not going to talk about the frats, because that might be a different story. Uh, no. No, 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 no. 
I wouldn't say that's true at all. Not so much as it used to, I think. I don't necessarily think it's a problem. I think where the stuff you hear is really one or two kids kind of getting carried away with stuff. But I mean, in general, like pledging is the best six weeks of my life. It's It really is awesome. From our fraternity, we do not do any hazing of any sort. The IFC here, the Inner Fraternity Council, has a no hazing policy. If you violate those rules and go against these certain policies, you can get yourself in a lot of trouble. Me and like all my other fraternity brothers and like fellow IFC men have like kind of come together to you know try and help out with that a little bit gotcha yeah awesome so with that being said what's the biggest misconception about Greek life in your opinion um um biggest misconception Ooh, I don't really know that's a tough question um the biggest misconception I've heard is that there is a stereotype there is like a bit of a like a stereotype and attitude about them that uh kind of drives people away you know they're kind of full of themselves or you know they're all d-bags fraternity people are like way too full of themselves and a lot of people think that they're just like bad people like you don't want to associate with them but that's not true at all it would definitely be that you have to conform to a set of standards maybe that you have to be someone that you're not a lot of people say oh you're paying for friends no you're paying for the experiences the the people come with it right obviously you have to pay for like you know all the get-togethers and the functions that you do and everything like that but um at the end of the day it's like a bigger like goal to it so that you have to be in greek life to make friends and i think that that's definitely not true here other schools i would agree with that but here i mean like there's so many other things to offer that you don't have to feel pressured to be in a sorority or fraternity it's not like a social club or like a social club for like partying like a lot goes into it about like leadership financial responsibility integrity academic respect and things like that so i second that yeah <laughs> sweet damn after hearing the truth about all these misconceptions greek life seems a lot less scary than people make it out to be and even though a lot of the big concerns about greek life turned out not to be true there's still a ton of stress and anxiety that comes with picking the right organization but lucky enough for you we got a ton of answers that might be able to help you out with this one so if you were to go back to your freshman year before you started initiation recruitment all that stuff and give yourself one piece of advice what would it be? Calm down. Do not look at Greek rank before you rush. <laughs> Go out of your comfort zone. Be more involved. Try not to have a, just a group in the frat because there's a lot of people in there. Try to be friends with everybody. Keep your options as open as possible. Be completely open and genuine. 100% without a doubt would be to just be yourself. Be yourself. Be yourself. Be yourself. That sounds like super cliche. Like stay true to yourself through the process. But like it's true. Like as recruiters and girls that have been through the process, they know more than you do that it's important to stay true to your values. Values because that's how you find a chapter that also shares those same values. If you try to be plastic or like someone you're not, it's just not going to end up good for you. While it is a lot and I know it can be kind of like daunting, everything will work out in the end if you trust the process. Be yourself, calm down, and just have some fun with it, honestly. It's a fun time. Awesome. You know, Greek life might not be as hard as people make it out to be. So now that we have all the hard hitting questions out of the way, I thought I'd hit these guys with a little curveball and ask them a few questions that they would have never seen coming. Now I got some rapid fire questions for you. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Which frat does the best tailgate? Kappa Six. SAE. Theta Chi or KA? KA. No doubt. And I'm not even biased. Theta Chi. Theta Chi. <laughs> Ooh, Theta Chi. <laughs> That's all I know so far. If I were to be in a frat, which one do you think I'd be in? You'd be in Kappa Sig. Theta Chi. Maybe SAE. SAE, really? Maybe. Pike. Pike. PG? I think that you would be in a educational fraternity. Okay, okay. Sig up. Sig up. Sig up. Sig up. Really? Keep going. Nice. Which frat has the best house? Sig up. Sig up. I know Sig up has a really, really dope setup, but you can't beat the Pike Mansion. Pike. Pike. Love the motel, but I would probably say Pike. Which sorority has the nicest house? I like the Zeta house. I like Kappa Delta, but I think Tridel has the best house. Tridel. 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 I do have to say Tridel has a very amazing house. Though. That's a popular one today yeah. for sure. If you weren't to be in the sorority you're in, which one do you think you'd be in? Oh, probably none of them. I don't know. I can't really see myself anywhere else, honestly. Honestly, I can't see myself in any other one. I would say no other fraternity. It was Pike or nothing. The K is pretty perfect, so I wouldn't even think about being in any other fraternity, honestly. I am happy where I am. I can't be in anywhere else, and I wouldn't want to change where I am for the world, so. Almost everyone I talked to said that they had no regrets with where they ended up in life today. And this is one of the biggest lessons I can give you guys. Life is gonna be full of uncertainty. And sometimes you may end up in a completely different situation than you could have ever imagined. And this is totally okay. Embrace who you truly are and the right people will come your way. Because even though it may not be the people you expected it to be, I guarantee you that your experience will be 10 times better than you could have ever imagined. Just trust me on this one.
I know it. So with all that being said, if you guys found this video helpful, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I do respond to every single comment. So if you have any other questions or video ideas, make sure to leave them down below. I do have a playlist of everything you need to know about college. So if you want to go check it out, it'll be right here. And if you want to join the family of over 1.3 thousand subscribers now, you can click right here. And yeah, that's it for me this week, guys. And I will see you guys next week.